Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about something truly exciting, a platform that changing the ways apps are built, deployed and scale across the world. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had an amazing app idea but got stuck dealing with backend, code server, database or APIs? Or maybe you are a developer tired of spending or setting up infrastructure when you all really want to build great feature. Well, what if I told you there is a platform that takes care of all the boring backend work while you focus on creating something awesome that platform is back for app, the smart scalable and open sources backend as a services that redefining how modern apps are made. With back for app you can build, host and manage your app in one simple place, no complex setups or no time based or no limits. It's are trusted by developers, setups, and even global campaigns who want speed, real ability, and flexibility all in one package. Whether you are creating a mobile app, web app, or even an LOT project, Back for App gives you the power to turn your idea into reality faster than ever before. So stay tuned because in this video we are exploring how Back for App can help you build smarter scale faster and dream bigger in the world of app development when you click on the get start button you will be prompted to generate your app by entering a name of your choice simply type in any app name you want and then click on the create button after that you will be taken to the back for app interface as you can see the interface is very modern and user friendly in the overview section you can access a lot of useful information about your app on the left hand side you will find several additional options such as a database, cloud code, API, push notification, web development, logos, app setting and many more. In back for app accounts keys also known as app keys play a very important role. These keys allow your app to connect securely with the back for app services. When you create a new app, back for app automatically generate a unique set of keys for it. These keys help identify your app and protect your data whenever you make API request. There are several types of keys in Back for App. The application ID is a unique identifier that tells Back for App which app is making the request. The client key is usually used in front end applications such as mobile or web apps and provides limited access to public data. The result API key is used when you want to access or manage your app's data through the REST API. Finally, the master key is the most powerful key as it gives full access to all your app's data, even the protected ones. However, it's a very sensitive action and should never be exposed in your front-end code or shared. After you generate your app in back for app, you will notice that under your app name in the overview section, there are two main options, connect app and MCP setup. When you click on the MCP setup option, the next step asks you to select your IDE means integrate development environments. Here you will see three options, cursor, VS code and WineSurf. These are the platform where you can connect and manage your back for app project in this course. I will select cursor. After selecting cursor, you will see an option that says install MCP on cursor with two choice automatically and manually. I will choose the manual option. When you click on it, back for app will display some coding style instruction or setup. These pages contain the step you need to follow to connect your cursor IDE with the back for app manually. Basically, this process allows you to integrate your IDE with back for app manage cloud so you can easily edit deploy and manage your backend code directly from your development environment it's a one-time setup that makes your workflow smoother and more professional after completing the mcp setup i will try a little integration to see you how everything works during this process back for app connects my app backend with the ide i selected early in my case cursor this integration allows me to directly access my project files, write or edit cloud code and manage my database without leaving the IDE. Once the integration starts, Back for App provides few setups, commands or files that help your local environment to the cloud server. After running these steps, your IDE becomes fully connected to your Back for App project. 
In simple words, this integration helps you work on your app locally while it stays scanned with the cloud, making development faster, easier and more efficient. After the integration, let's talk a bit about the database section in back for app. The database is a basically the storage area for your app. This is where all your app data is saved, such as your information, login details, messages, images, or any other records your app use. Back for app use a cloud-based database, which means your data is stored online and can be accessed anytime for anywhere. The database works just like a table. It has columns and rows. Columns represent different types of data like username, email, password, etc. Raw data represented each individual records or user entire. The best part is that back for app database is easy to manage without writing code. You can create new tables, add or delete data, and even apply filters directly from the dashboard. You can also connect it with your app through APIs. So any change in the database automatically updates in your app in a real time. In short, the database is back for app acts like the brain of your app where all your important data is stored and managed safely now let's talk about the api section in back for app api stands for application programming interface it's basically a bridge between your app and the back for app database it helps your app send and receive data from the cloud easy when you open the api section you will see the message get started by adding back for app to your app and below that you will find options like react navigate filter android ios javascript and many more each of these options represented are different app development platform or framework so basically these options help developers easily connect their apps project to back for app without writing everything from structure now let me talk about another amazing feature in back for app the ai agent this is one of the newest and most powerful features that back for app has introduced it. basically the ai agent helps you build and integrate the ai powered chatbot or virtual assistant directly into your app without needing deep ai coding knowledge honestly guys back for app is an amazing platform it gives you everything you need to build and manage your app in one place for database and APIs to AI agents and cloud hosting. The best part is that it's super beginner friendly even if you are not a professional developer, you do not need to set up complex server or write long backend code. Back for app handles are that for you. Its interface is clean, fast and very modern, making it easy to navigate and understand whether are you build a mobile app or web app or even an AI project. Back for app provides all the tools you need to get started quickly and scale your app like a pro. In short, Back for app is a perfect choice of developers and creators who want powerful, simplicated and speed all in one platform. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and now you have a clear idea of how to use Back for App. For um, creating your app and setting up MCP to exploring the database, APIs and even the new AI agent features. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials. And if you have any question or want me to cover another topic, feel free to drop a comment below. I read all of them. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and I will see you guys in the next one.